Fires takes a lot of high tech equipment and thanks to a grant, a Northeast Nebraska Fire Department has a piece of new technology that not many others have. Norfolk Fire Rescue has used drones to help in their firefighting for a few years now, but they were looking for a new drone that could better withstand Nebraska weather and fly in almost any condition. Thanks to a tip from a local emergency manager, they learned of a grant through TC Energy and applied. TC Energy was great throughout the process. Uh, the team had kind of identified this drone as being something we'd like to get, but it was financially tough to make happen within the existing operating budget. The drone Norfolk Fire bought is the M30 by DJI. It weighs about eight pounds and it can fly in nearly all weather conditions. Our bigger drone can handle higher wind conditions and rain. So if we have, you know, slight thunderstorm and we have high wind conditions, obviously we're going to fly the M30 that's going to handle that, uh, those, those, those conditions. The M30 drone is the newest piece of equipment in Norfolk's firefighting arsenal, but how do drones help those firefighters day-to-day -day lives? Well, KTIV's Katie Koppel with the help of KTIV chief photographer and drone pilot, Acacia Phillips, met with the Norfolk Fire Rescue drone team to learn more. It's just another tool in the toolbox and it's, it's a specialty item that has really turned into be something good for us. Tim Rogge is the fire chief at Norfolk Fire Rescue, one of the first departments in the region to utilize drones as a firefighting tool. It's been an eye-opener. We're seeing things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to see from up high in the sky and while it doesn't fit for every scene, the ones that it does fit on, it's been proven to be extremely important. Norfolk Fire Rescue is one of the first fire departments in Nebraska to utilize drone technology, giving them a better view from the sky that they wouldn't have from the ground. We can figure out where that fire is. We're giving them excellent information as far as roof detail, uh, structure detail, and stuff like that. Aaron Beckman is a firefighter and helped bring drones into Norfolk Fire Rescue. There are one of the major things that firefighters have to fight every day uh, on a structured fire is falling through a roof. So if we can get a drone up on top and we can use the thermal camera to see the roof structure of that particular fire and make sure that that roof is safe to get on top of that to do a vent or to do whatever that we can, that drone can tell IC if that thing is safe to get on top. Um, it prevents people from getting in harm's way. Several members of the fire department are certified drone pilots. Team leads decide if a drone is needed on each call, like Captain Scott Bonzel. This is also a tool that we can use to help take care of the public and make our job safer and make the community safer. That view with the drone streaming to devices on the ground has proved essential in keeping firefighters safe. Drones are a huge thing, especially the thermal capabilities. You can see things early on perhaps that might prevent us from putting people in bad situations. Help me consider uh, either letting my crews go inside or keeping them out because that structure might not be safe enough. The drone also assists the team in searches, water rescues, hazmat situations, and nearly any call they are deployed on. Thermal imaging showing them where people are located and where water or any other liquid may be. But the most important part of utilizing drones in day-to-day -day calls... It's all about everyone going home, see their families at the end of the day. Reporting in Norfolk with Chief Photographer Acacia Phillips, Katie Koppel, KTIV News 4. The drone team is made up of several members of the fire department and they train often with the drones ensuring they are prepared for any call.